couple weeks ago, I turned 21 on June 29th. That means I'm a Cancer. And in true Cancer fashion, I have lots of thoughts and feelings about it. So this is my personal reflection of how it feels to be 21. At this point in my life, I've done more than I ever imagined I would have accomplished by now. I moved to New York at age 18. At age 20, I lived in Europe for six months. I've traveled and seen so many different people and places. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have experienced so much so early on. On the flip side of that, it leaves me with a sense of fear that maybe I've peaked. Like, it's all downhill from here. This year is my last year in college, so the obvious next step is deciding what I want to do. It's also the number one question you get asked by everyone in your life. So what are you going to do? It's scary to admit that I don't know yet. One of my favorite quotes says, the way you spend your days is the way you spend your life. Even though it sounds like it belongs on a decorative couch pillow, it means a lot to me. I want to spend my days doing something special and meaningful, especially while I'm young. Sacrificing my dreams for some unguaranteed freedom in the future scares me more than an undecided path. A big lesson for me right now is learning to trust in my uncertainty. As a teenager, I thought I was already exactly who I was always going to be. The truth is that I was only really good at being teenage me. 21 is a time when I'm figuring out how to be adult me, whatever that means. It's a time of trial and error, trying on different identities. It's fun. It's also confusing that I feel so different from one day to the next sometimes. I'm learning that with uncertainty comes ambiguity. I said that wrong. Ambiguity. I think that's right. And I'm learning to embrace that too. I think back a lot on my past friendships and relationships. I see my old friends from middle school and high school on Instagram, and I wonder what obscure memories they have of me to match the ones I have of them. I wonder if they think about me at all. Everyone I grew up with is far apart now, doing different things but their earlier selves still feel very dear and present to me. Even though I'm freshly into my 20s, I hear other people talking about how hard it is to make friends in this stage, especially after college. I'm starting to wonder whether or not that will be true for me and what my opinion will be on that in a couple years. Again, with the uncertainty. Right now, I know it's most important to me to be around people who I admire and who support and inspire me. I can feel myself becoming a little more picky about the company I keep. Oddly enough, I don't feel like I have a lot of favorites right now, or at least not as passionately as I used to. I used to have favorite TV shows. I had favorite songs and albums that I could play back to back every day, multiple times a day, and not get tired of them. But I can't think of the last TV show I loved enough to watch more than once. Sometimes I can barely get past a couple episodes. My favorite albums are still ones from years ago, and I find it equally as hard to listen to the newer songs I like more than a few times in the same week. I miss having favorites. Of course, my old favorites are always there, but I'm looking for something that more accurately reflects the current me. I don't know, maybe I'm in a transition between childhood and adulthood favorites. Maybe this is where the infamous phrase, they just don't make them like they used to, comes from. Maybe you only form such strong favorites when you're a kid, and after that, nothing feels quite the same. But I don't want that to be the case, so I'm still on the search for the favorites of my 20s, which now that I'm thinking about it, I still have a lot of time left. At 21, I'm starting to feel less impressionable. At younger ages, I was so easily influenced by the views and opinions of others and so quick to adopt them as my own. I was convinced that other people must know more than me, be aware of some secret I hadn't discovered, and I was quick to challenge my own views. This can be just as bad as it can be good, and while other people's views still sway me sometimes, I feel more comfortable in my own interpretations. I'm more confident in the experiences that have led me to my views and realizing that I can respect other interpretations without adopting them or shaming my ideas for contradicting others. I am finding more beauty in disagreement. I'm accepting that things are rarely black and white. Life, relationships, and people are deeply complex, and I'm learning to accept that multiple truths may exist at once. 
I'm having a hard time saying goodbye to my childhood, but I'm also having fun deciding what parts I want to bring with me. Little me would think I'm so cool. I try my best to drown out all other opinions except for hers. No matter what age I reach, there's always more to do, more to see, more to be desired. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I haven't decided. But at the very least, it's a good reason to keep moving forward.